brothers, sisters and brothers, take a deep breath in with me. Remember from the belly, not from the chest. One, two, three. Hold for four seconds. Release. And one more time. Ready? Go. Sisters and brothers, brothers and sisters, I did this video yesterday. What women want men to know, okay? And listen, believe me, I know. I'm not saying I'm a ladies' man. Not by all means, <laughs> okay? Now, as men and women are, well, we are entire, we are wired differently. We're like different. <laughs> men are, as they say, men are. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. There's a reason why they say that, because, well, we're wired com completely differently, okay? So, that means we think, well, <laughs> we think very differently. And these, these are facts, these are things I've always known, and, but lately I've been wondering, what makes a woman, what makes women tick, or girls tick, whatever you call them. Women, girls, same thing. Females, <laughs> what makes them tick? And I'm going to tell you from my experience right now how to make a woman happen, happy, okay? They want communication. Well, I'm not going to say all of them, but it's almost like I feel like they expect you to know what they want, okay? And here lies the problem. <laughs> As a male, we don't, always, we don't always know what they want, especially unless we've been with them for a long, long time. Now, I'm in my relationship, I've been going on for about seven months now, okay? Give or take. And I love it. My relationship is, is it's wonderful. <laughs> it's fun, you know, I was single prior to this, but I've been in, rela I've been in long term relationships, five years. And since I was 16, I've been in relationships, except for a three year period, which I went without a woman. And it was really hard. I'm not going to deny it. Because Tinder sucks. Okay? And I don't want to meet women. I want to meet them the old-fashioned way. Instead of having to look through them through a computer. But what do women want you to know? Now, my... Okay, there... First of all, I need to, I need to explain this to you. Okay? There are five lo love languages. Now, shout out to my ex. She did teach me this. About the five love languages. So, if you can learn... And I'm going to put down below um, a quiz that you can take. And I want to give my thanks and praises right now to everybody that watches my channel. If you have not subscribed by now, I would very much appreciate if you did. But below here, I'm going to put um, a link to discover your love language. Because this, I, I know, and if you don't know the time, brothers and sisters, believe in yourself. Why do I have this phone in my hand? Because I talk to my fiancé's. Um, sister, and she gave one of the most, shout out to Brittany, what's up Brittany, what's up Brittany, <laughs> she gave one of the most brilliant explanations on um, what women want and what men need to know about women, so I'm going to read it really quickly, or not, you know, as quickly as possible, My, me personally as a woman, I want an intellectual and emotional connection. I want to feel like the person I am with can have meaningful conversation and be on the same wavelength as me. I am more attracted to minds and souls than bodies. And I happen to be one of those people now too, actually. See, the differences between men and women. Men, which is interesting. That's how you know we're wired differently. Men are more attracted by looks, but women, mm-mm. They're more attracted by mind, body, and soul. And this is true. So she says, I want to feel like the person I am with am I am with cares about me on a soul level. Also, I think it is important to have personal goals and drive to complete them. The goals not the goals do not necessarily have to be financial, but my significant other should have a passion. One thing that I love about Zach, which is her boyfriend, what's up, Zach? Shout out to Zach. <laughs> is that he has unconditional love for me, and he gives me the benefit of the doubt. He assumes that I am acting in good faith, which I love that, in good faith. If you don't know about the good faith clause, well, you're not a real estate agent. <laughs> 
He assumes that I am acting in faith, which makes me feel comfortable and safe in our, safe in our relationship. If I was going to give advice to guys that are looking for a relationship, I would say, be confident in yourself. No self-depreciation. That's real. No self-depreciation, okay? But don't be cocky. Be easygoing. Lightheartedness and humor are all attractive things. Also, women want someone who is who has their shit together, okay? Well, we all don't have our shit together, Brittany, just to tell you. <laughs> but we try. Someone that is punctual and thoughtful. Every person has their own love language, so different women want different things. And these are facts. And this is the reason why I'm going to put down below. I'm going to put the phone down for now. And... <clears throat> And I'm going to explain to you that communication from my, from my expertise, ladies and gentlemen, and this is for men, okay? This is specifically for men. What do women want from men? Well, communication is key from both sides, okay? And I don't think, and again, as I was saying, it seems like women just, they just seem to think we know where we want, that we automatically know what they want. Well, the truth of the matter is that's not true. So that's the reason why I always say communication is the key. Brothers and sisters, there's more to it. So I asked my mom and she sent me this whole spiritual thing on it. Do I want to read it? The answer is no. Should I read it? The answer is I'm not going to read it. But I am going to put down below... I am going to explain down below um, with the five, with the, <laughs> with the love languages, and I'm going to put down the low, below what women want, okay? And you have no idea. If you can please a woman in um, a mental way, you can have anything and everything you want from them. Believe me. I know this from experience, okay? So, brothers and sisters, I want to give my thanks and praises specifically for the women. For women. For the women that watch my channel. For the women out there giving birth. For the women out there that actually care about men. Because women nurture, okay? And that's the one thing. That's why I always say women are the future because they nurture. And I love women. I love them all. Even my fiance. I love her too. No, <laughs> I really love her. But... I love all women, and they're all important to me. Even you, if you're watching this, you're important to me too. It doesn't matter what you look like. Like A long time ago, I used to, and this is coming from the heart, I used to be like, I want the hottest girl in the school. And yes, I did. I got the hottest girls in the school, but it didn't make me happy, dude. So now what do I look for? I look for somebody that uh, I can see eye to eye with, with my 2020 vision. I've had my twin flame reunion. Yes, we're both Aries, my fiance and I, believe it or not. So that's one big flame. Brothers and sisters, if you don't know the time, here to tell you time, it's believe in yourself, okay? And if you see somebody that you like, go up to them, whether they're single or not. Start a conversation. You, you just never know where that conversation could lead. Seriously, you never know. It could lead to your bedroom even. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, with that said, brothers and sisters, may peace be with you, also with you. I want to give my thanks and praises to God. I want to give my thanks and praises to the universe. Thanks and praises to Jupiter, Florida. I love it here. This is my hometown. Thanks and praises to my fiance. Thanks and praises to Brittles. You know who you are, little riddles. <laughs> thanks and praises to Zach. Thanks and praises to my mom. And thanks and praises to all the wonderful women out there that, that has actually nurtured me through my hard times. Because that's what they do. Women nurture. Men, well, we're just a little, we're wired just a little differently if you haven't noticed. May peace be with you and also with you. Recognize, okay, we are not the same. Women come from Venus, men come from Mars. They say that for a reason. If you don't know, now you know. But if you want to know how women tick and think, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the, um, the five love languages down there uh, at the bottom so you can know what your love language is. And if you have a partner, you both should check it out and learn what yours is. Mine is uh, 
quiet enjoyment time I think it is <laughs> yeah I like I love to I just in love enjoying my time with my significant other that's me but brothers and sisters I want to let you know love will prevail love will always prevail <laughs> may peace be with you also with you you have a blessed day a blessed evening and be easy don't be too hard on yourself and that is what you need to know that's what the men need to know about women now below here I want you to read what I'm gonna write below and also I'm gonna put a link to um, the five love love languages which shout out to Lana yeah she taught me about them Lana I know you watch my videos it's cool but I am getting married and I'm gonna be very happily married I already am happily Beyonce up <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I love you very much. Thank you for watching my channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And may peace be with you and also with you. And you have a lovely rest of your evening. Peace.